Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at excel newsletter which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hello, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to custom sort an Excel pivot table. So let's get started. So if you use pivot tables in Excel, you probably know that they're a great way to summarize your data. But did you know that you can actually custom sort your pivot table? So this is a great way to organize your data in a way that makes sense to you and at what's important to you. So if you need to sort your pivot data in something other in a, in a way other than numeric or date order, this should be very useful for you. So let's work with an example. So I need to, so for example, I need to sort my pivot tables regularly by the products in order of importance to the business. So you can see a sample of raw data here product name, month of sales and the unit sales. And what I've also included is the products and the order of importance of how the business wants to view it or how they want to sort the data. So you can see that the sorting won't fit necessarily into any of the built-in sorting options for Excel for pivot tables. So I can't use alphanumeric so we need to create a sort order for ourselves. So to sort the pivot table in the correct order for, for us, we need to use what's known as a custom list. So this method requires a small extra step just once to set up the list. But I think the extra effort ensures that you don't have to sort the pivot table manually. So if you've ever needed to sort a pivot table manually, you basically select the row or in this name, the product name that you want to move around and you click and drag it. So there's a couple of steps to do this. So let's get started. So first of all, if you haven't already built your pivot table, build it. Um, I'll put a link below to another one of my videos if it's the first time that you're creating a pivot table and that'll take you step by step through creating the basic pivot table. So the second step is to define your custom list that you want to use for sorting. So I'm using Excel uh, 2016 and I go to File, Options, Advanced. So you'll need to find the general area and you will find Edit Custom Lists and it says there, Create Lists for Use in Sorts and Fill Sequences. Click on that. And you can see there's some predefined ones already there from Excel. So once you've got the custom list dialog box open, there's two ways you can enter the custom list. The first one is to manually type the items in the order and how you want to sort them. And the second one is to use the dialog box, which is here to basically um, import the list sequence into Excel. So both are effective. It I, I would always base it on how many items that you've got to add to your list. So what I'll do is using the data selector, select the list of products, hit import and hit OK. I now go back into edit custom lists. This is my new custom list here. Let's mess this up on purpose and then let's go to sort it automatically again. It will sort it in our custom list once it recognises that those products are in the pivot table. Okay, that's the end of today's tip. That's how to custom sort your Excel pivot table. A really useful one, especially if you don't want to follow uh, alphanumeric or date order sorts in your pivot table. I hope you enjoyed the tip. If you did, consider subscribing hit the notification bell it really does help the channel leave a comment ask a question if you want me to cover an excel tip and i'll see you next time for another excel video